Alright, leaving the house. We're gonna go down to Delta to Ashton Farms uh, Burger Barn. Yeah, I got Roxy on the back seat with me and Kara's behind me. You see her in the mirror. You see Roxy in the mirror too, right there. Whoop. Let's see. Yeah, I can, well, I can somewhat see her if I move my hand, or I mean my arm. I mean, I can see that she ain't falling off yet. She's bungeed down. But, it'll take you along for the ride. We'll showcase some of the ride, but I'm not going to do all of it because it's an hour and a half ride. One way. And, hope you enjoy out on the Rikers. Just past the Santa Quinn. Nope, just past the Lavender Fields. We're in the Young Living Family Farm. Oh, there it is, way over there. I missed it almost. The Solar Farm, or Panel Farm. Tomato factory over there. Is the fire season in Utah yet? Got two fires burning in Utah, and you can see the effect of it off in the distance right there. It's not something to look forward to, that's for sure. There are downtown Nephi. There's the way to Delta. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight. You want to go down the Maverick, or are you good? Maverick. Right, we'll, get my drink. we'll make a drink stop at Maverick. Yeah, make a quick stop at Maverick, and we we'll be on our way to Delta again. But this is. A couple of sidewalk cells out here. Alright, we're gonna roll in here to Maverick. Yep. Those guys crowd in a little bit. Let's see. Is there a shady spot? No, there's not a shady spot unless you're getting fuel. Okay. We can go around back maybe. Town of Nephi, right there. That was on the Ghost Hunters episode one time. And I believe there's still people living in there. Oh. Okay, we're headed southwest out of Delta. Uh, not Delta, shoot. We're headed southwest out of Nephi. Delta. Here we go. these are 
results or not. I guess it might depend on the weekend, but... Well, because... It's staggered. Yeah, Pioneer Charcoal Pots. Still standing. Delta Airport. Four miles till we get in town. All right, we just got down at Ashton's uh, Ashton's Burger Barn, and Kara got a brisket from their butcher in there. Got Roxy there. It is a warm one. That burger was good drove clear down here just for it. Uh, I guess I need to put it in reverse and go backwards. All right, then I'm gonna go stop at the fuel station and then head out, get that burger or that brisket home. There we go, it's a good place to stop if you're coming to town or going through town. Well, that wasn't far to get in town. There's the Maverick right there. We're basically, heck, you can see the burger shop from here. Yeah. All right, let's pull in here and get some petrol. Okay. All right, we're all filled up, both internally and the bike. Headed out of Delta to go through you we're gonna go through Eureka to get back home. I don't know if you can see, but off in the distance over there is the Sahara sand dunes or the, or the little Sahara. Yeah, all those the hills, that's all sand. that down your carburetor and think about it. There's sheep everywhere out here. Yeah, one behind me. Right there, uh, right there where the truck and trailer come out is the road for the little Sahara. Yeah, yeah, there's another pickup truck. You have to go over the railroad tracks to get out there. Oh, we're coming up on it. There's the pickup. Be right there. Little Sahara, left, Nephi, right. Right there. We're going north. Yep, right through here there's a road. About 125. I think it's 126. Yeah. Um, well, it's right here. So that's 125. This sign right here is the dirt road. Yeah, yeah, you turn down that road there. That takes you up onto the, the side of the hill back in there. And that's where Paul Bunyan's wood pile is. It's about a, I don't know, three quarter of a mile hike in and then back out, but super cool. There's a flag flying, but this place, oh it's, oh, it's open. Yeah, I guess in the winter time they close it. The last few times I've been there, it's closed. Ah, coming into the little mining town of Eureka from the south end. You can 
feel the temperature drop a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yo, just hang out through town. Oh yeah, on the grill. Yeah. Oh, there's just some uh, flags. Well, that's what I didn't look at. I was gonna look at the flags from the five rats. Uh, open tell you what that's the only place that has a public bathroom in the whole town of Eureka so <laughs> so go pay them some a visit give them some love and get some treats getting ready to go through the killer s curve here we go buckle down is smoky everywhere this is crazy last year we had a good this year looks like it's going to be a bad one that that was the mountain we got uh, alberta goshen or janola and then santa quinn just up that way There's a monument right there on the side of the road, a great big rock. And this town of Goshen used to be out here. And Brigham Young wanted them to move it like five miles or three miles to the east. And they dug up the cemetery, but there was like a hundred people that had unmarked graves and I think were just buried in the dirt. They don't know where they're at, so they're, that land is protected with that monument. And they're just out there buried on the ground somewhere. The like, Goshen is now here, which the main road still goes through town. Head <laughs> up on the back roads in the orchard. Check that out. Oh, that was the Payson Temple. Yep, here in the middle of Wonderland. You wonder where we're at. Yeah, that's great. family farm out here but right here Gordles Gordon family farm Give you a little peek of what's in the what we got. Look, this <laughs> ice stuff. But look at the size. Look at that. 
Mmm. That's gonna be dinner for tomorrow. Ooh wee. Merritt, if you ain't smiling, you ain't doing it right. Yeah.